Hey Hi there. everyone! Kung Hei Fat Choi! Kung Si Fat Choi! Happy Be Lunar... Happy Chinese, Chinese New, New Year. Year! Happy Lunar New Year! Year of the Ox. It's very important to that. Sorry, I know, as I forgot. Is it? I don't know. It, yeah, I see everybody doing it. Here we go. The thing is, is um, we used to, obviously we used to live in Hong Kong, and that was one of our favorite times of the year. Actually, Stella said today, "Oh, I miss living in Hong Kong during Chinese New Year," and then we found out it's because she got time off. What I'm missing is all the firecrackers. When I lived in Macau, that was full on for the firecrackers. More than Hong Kong. Oh, much more, yeah, much oh, wow. more. Than Macau, yeah. That's exciting. Uh, yeah, it was till uh, you know. Oh, but you lived above a gas station. <laughs> I did live in a gas station. The gas station was integrated into my apartment block. Yeah. Which I think used to give some people some moments. I never even thought about that when I was living there. Prime real estate, right <laughs> above a gas station. Ooh, the smell of petrol, day in and day out. We are wishing all our... All of our friends in Hong Kong, happy Chinese New Year. We miss celebrating with you. We miss all of it. It's, it's a great time. And we wish all of you a happy Year of the Ox. We hope this is a very prosperous, healthy, healthy, happy, yes, healthy year for all of you. For you my wife gave me a haircut. I'm getting better and better at it. Yeah, but I'm not allowed to show you the back. Show the back. Don't show say you. that. This is a very exciting weekend for the whole family because not only is it Chinese New Year, but this weekend is also Valentine's Day and the beginning of half term for the kids. We have two announcements to make today. The first one has to do with our uploading posting schedule. You may have noticed I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Well, moving forward and starting next week, we will only be posting Tuesday and Friday. I shouldn't say only, we'll post two times a week, which I feel is still quite a, a lot. That's basically to help preserve my well-being. <laughs> And Your well-being. Give, give, Our well-being. Yes, everyone's well-being. Give, give me a little bit better of a balance. Uh, and, and it's not because I'm editing all the time, but it comes in like spurts, right? And it's chopped up because the kids come in and there's so much to do with them home. It's a lot of entertaining and keeping them busy and occupied. Most of the time, my real editing comes at night and I've been neglecting my sleep and I, nobody really wants to hear about how I'm sleep deprived because I drove that one home during Vlogmas and <laughs> that was too much. Because if I have two videos instead of three videos to, to focus on, then I think I can spread out the work in the nights, you know, throughout the week, and it will be better for everyone. And that makes me sound sort of wimpy, like, what's up, dude? Like, I'm sorry, you're not producing movies here, but it does take a lot of work to edit. The second announcement is sort of big time because it has to do with the name of the channel, which is my name. If you've been watching our vlogs, then you'll know that I, I started this vlog as a way to document our big move from LA to Hong Kong. And then things just kind of stayed sort of lively. We had Alfie and I continued, I, I used to vlog almost daily during the pregnancy. Yeah, so it was sort of my video diary for a very long time. We decided that we are going to change the name from my name to the Wada Davies family, which seems to reflect better what we're doing with this video, with these videos. Can you explain that name? <laughs> You so, let me, so let me just walk you through the name change. <laughs> it started off Andrea Wada Davies is my name, and then we moved over. Well, after considerable brainstorming. I mean, after considerable after brainstorming, brainstorming. We were going to call it Brian, Brian Adams Family, but then. We uh, were, but then we were like, I think that name's taken. Even no, I think the Adams Family's taken, but the Brian Adams Family was, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Was, was, was okay. So we decided to, at that point, morph it into the Wada Davies family. Oof. It just, just has a ring to it. Yeah, it had a ring to it. Which seems to have a good connection with us. Yeah, the Wada Davies family, AKA WDF. And for all you loyal viewers, subscribers, you can now be known as the WDFers. <laughs> It's the only reason we did it. I mean, yeah, it could have been like 99% of the reason we decided to change the name. Peter's more involved and it just, we're just, it's just, you know, it just seems like this is more of a family channel. That they're family vlogs, we're family vloggers. I wanted recognition! <laughs> <laughs> Peter, Peter seriously is like so key, so money. <laughs> So key to these videos. It's now it's reflecting everyone involved and everyone that, that makes this channel what it is. Peter for a while was really, really holding out for the Peter Davies channel. <laughs> but uh, our, our lawyers were at loggerheads about <laughs> that one. Yeah, we had to go through some mediation <laughs> to get to the Wada Davies family. Now what we're doing over here at the WDF house, we are going to prepare for a movie premiere. Stella knows about a movie premiere, but we're gonna jazz it up a bit surprise her a little bit, make it a special night for her because it's the third, the third installment of To All the Boys I've Loved Before 
and it debuts today on Netflix. So we are all going to have a movie premiere and sit down and watch it together. It's Stella's favorite film series. And and, and Peter's. And that will be in the next vlog. You'll get to see all the weekend festivities. I did a recent poll, kind of polling where people were watching from, and that was so exciting and fun to see where everyone's watching from. Thank you for everyone that's tuning in from all over. It's so, so cool. That is so awesome. To, see to where engage with are. people all over the place. Yeah. But I want someone from Chad. I really need someone from Chad. <laughs> yeah, we. if you are watching from Chad, please let your name be known. <laughs> and oh. if your name is Chad, also call it. <laughs> if your name is Chad, please. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> that will do. Either yeah. in Chad or Chad. <laughs> what else? This is a big weekend for us. For I just this is a big weekend. Yeah, in no, general, we've got the cricket. We've got the, uh, no. the football. We've got the rugby. Okay, so we have that. Something else. We also have, aside from Chinese New Year, which is huge and exciting, Valentine's Day on <gasps> Sunday, which is such a lovely holiday. One of my <laughs> one of my favorite holidays, always has been since I was a little girl, and I think that is because of the way we celebrate Valentine's Day in the U.S., which is very different from the way you celebrate here in the U.K. Level. We don't commercialize it, uh, like but you we do. commercialize everything. I know. Oh, oh it is. thank you, thank but you. But that's fine. Yeah, for, yes. But all, all I have to say is, you call this a Hallmark holiday. Fine, so be it. But Hallmark helps us. To celebrate we like the, the tradition of Valentine's Day. Every you can't buy this and that and everything, and it's it's. Well, We're not asking you to buy the humbug that and, and all that. You know. We're only asking you to buy the stereotypical heart-shaped <laughs> chocolates, a white bear holding a heart <laughs> wrapped in cellophane, <laughs> a couple boxes of conversation hearts where you write their name on the front, yeah. like ballpoint pen, and then it doesn't really write because it's kind of waxy, and a card for every relative. No, you don't write a card for every relative. We it don't seems do like that. Way. Okay, you're now you're just getting out of hand. When you're young and a certain age, and Valentine's Day comes up, it's exciting and it's you know like a little flirty, flirty things happening. But also just the just action. like that for me at my old boys' school, <laughs> <laughs> my old boys' boarding school. Hey, but why not? Why not at an old boys' school? I feel like boys. It's better. Andrew, I have, I have nothing. I have no issue with with. I know thing, you but. don't have an issue, but what I'm trying to say is, you guys embrace kind of like more affection with bros. Like you don't bro out in a, in the way that the Americans bro out. You bro out with like some kisses on the cheek and. Do you know what I mean? Like you're comfortable doing that. And I think well, that's we don't do that here. In the, that's in Europe. We don't throw out here in the UK with a few kisses on the cheek. <laughs> there shouldn't even be broing out, right? There shouldn't have to be any no. broing out. No. Okay, this has gotten weird. It has gone. Cool. Anyway, I, the, whatever broing out. There's no broing out. Let's just all human out. We used to make like we turned the tissue box into a Valentine's box that you put on your desk. Then everyone just like slots in their little Valentine. I loved that. That's just such a fun time. It's exciting. I, I'm it's about love and, and and doing nice things for people. It's not just about like romantic love for me. It's about like making people feel special. So I'm sorry you don't like to make people feel special. <laughs> of course he likes to make people feel special. People being his family in particular and most people. You are a kind of gentleman and on Valentine's Day I would like to honor you. I just want to quickly bring up the fact that Peter said here in the UK when you give a Valentine it always has a question mark. Like who could it be from? But that's the whole thing about Valentine's, right? He was, he was, he, he, he was your, he was your... You mean the Saint Valentine? Yeah, well... He no. was not trying anyway. to give out chocolate hearts. Anyway, we, we all knew that Valentine's was, you go, it was, it was often you'd write, you know, who is my secret Valentine? So it's like a secret admirer thing? Yeah. Kind of creepy? Yeah. Okay, I'm done with my Valentine's Day rant. It's a fun time. It is. The other thing that, that this weekend marks is the beginning of half term, which Stella is stoked about, and we can't understand why, because usually it would be because there's no school. But being that she's home with us all day, her day, we can't understand. Day after day. Day after day. I, we can't understand this, because now she's like, no Zoom call, no homework. Yeah. So I, we can't understand, because homeschooling is a once you bring out homeschooling, it kind of uh, plays over. Lose all, all will to live. <laughs> On that note, we just want to wish you all a wonderful uh, Chinese New Year, a wonderful weekend. A wonderful I'd like to wish everyone a very happy Valentine's. He would, because he cares about you. I do. I and do. if he could, he would drop each of you a little chocolate heart. And, that's and I hope you all get my cards. <laughs> he got them. If it's got card. a question mark on it. It's from me. We are going to have another live stream on Saturday at 7 p.m. 
We love the live stream. It is a, it's probably the it's highlight. It's the highlight of our it week. Is a highlight it really of the is so fun. So thank you to all of you that joined so us. So great on to a have so many basis. people. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Come so on. great to have people tuning in from all over. Yeah. That, that is a real kind of. Uh, it's really so such a treat, and we hope that if you haven't been on a live stream yet and you're curious, hop on. We would love to have you, and it's such like a, a nice, oh. warm community. The issues we discuss, they are... It's riveting. Yeah, well, no, it's it's just... Highly political. Yeah. <laughs> no, it gets a little quirky. Oh, Just a little. Just a little bit. So usually every live stream we have a competition. This weekend, the competition we have not revealed in advance, but it will be revealed tomorrow, and you will be able to put in your, your guesses... Submit your... your... Submit your answers or your guesses, and then the winner wins a little prize. So we hope to see you there if you can make it, and... We just have, hope you have a, a wonderful weekend. Have a great weekend. Happy Chinese New Year. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.